Hello friends, welcome back to iPhone and iPad tutorials. How are you guys doing? Uh, today, um, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to make our uh, application icon look better. Uh, if you remember, in our last uh, lesson, we made a very, very simple app. I'm going to open Xcode and show you that. So I click on Xcode. I open the last um, application that we were building. Let me quickly show you how it looks. Apologies, uh, let me quit this and open the uh, iPhone simulator. And I click on build and run. So if you see, this is what we did in the last lesson where we had an on off button. And we had uh, a slider and a, my YouTube. Now every time I click, it shows a round circle, I guess, on the video. Um, maybe that's something to do with the recording uh, software that I'm using. Uh, but I'll try to fix that problem if you if you if you don't like that otherwise I think it's pretty cool because uh, you know where I'm clicking yeah anyways uh, when I press the home button you see that this app uh, it basically has a white blank sort of design and you don't want to uh, you don't want to basically uh, have your users app users uh, you know see a blank design when they use your app so what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to uh, how to put a sort of design or text or anything you like on this uh, on this blank here first what we're gonna do is uh, quit the simulator so we're gonna quit simulator now um, let me tell you uh, for f I'm not very good at design myself but uh, these designs can be done very easily in Adobe um, Photoshop or any other uh, you know photo editing software um, I, p I personally get myself done from our team uh, because I'm not very very good at design so I rather rely on uh, you know what my team does so I've got a couple of designs made from them from our team um, I've kept them stored in a folder so these are some of the designs that I've got I've got one for myself um, build in red and white so we're going to use that for the lesson today um, however let's minimize this for now what I was going to tell you is um, you know how it appears let me quickly again show you if you if you see the normal apps that come with your phone they have rounded uh, corners and they look very glossy um, now this is something that you don't really have to do yourself because uh, the X code itself is powerful enough to to put those effects on your uh, on your icons when you put them in the uh, in your X code and and when you finally launch your application. So we're not going to bother about that. The only thing that we must keep in mind is that the resolution is 57 into 57 pixels for iPhone. So if you want to build an icon for an iPhone the resolution must be 57 into 57 pixels um, and if you want to get into more details uh, it's 72 ppi Peter Peter India so it's 57 into 57 pixels let me write that for you somewhere um, office where's my office there you go all right um, I'll write that down for you won't be too long I just want to make sure that uh, all of you know the the resolution and the sizes of of the images that you need to create for iPhone so um, iPhone is pretty small icon 57 by 57 pixels yep yeah. and then uh, if you want to get into more details it's 72 ppi yeah that's what you need to know uh, as of now I won't confuse you with a lot of details for now so if you can please make a note of this it's 57 by 57 pixels and it's 72 ppi and it must always be PNG again it's it's not necessary that you keep a PNG format but it, it is it is recommended that you always use PNG 
which is the best in terms of the size, in terms of the resolution, and and the uh, user experience. So I'm going to close that now without saving it. I hope you have copied it somewhere. Don't save. All right. Um, now, uh, what we need to do is first we need to open the folder where we have the images stored and say for example I want to use the red one what I would do is I would drag that onto the resources folder and the moment I do that it will come up with a box saying copy items into destination groups folder if needed etc I will select that what happens is um, it would copy the image from my image folder into the programs image folder uh, and I click add so you would see that the image the image comes into the Xcode box now just to explain the copy image um, you know terminology the copy image box originally my image was in this image folder under my Vineet Agarwal under images folder yeah but when you build any application it always comes into your documents by default so what that does is copies that image into this folder so that it is along it is present along with all the other code files and you know other other files for your project i hope uh, i hope you understand what i mean now we will close this for now come back to the come back to the uh, uh, xcode window now how do you use this to to appear on as an icon on the application what we need to do is we need to copy the name of the image and we need to use this image um, in this file under resources it's called the YouTube app 2 which is the name of our app info p list p list basically stands for properties list so what we will do is we will maximize it and if you see that icon file it says blank now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste sorry I'm going to write the name of the image here. So what I'll do is I'll quickly copy the name of the image from this folder. Command C for copy, and I'll come here and put Command V for paste. Dot PNG. All right. Now I've specified a name for the icon file. There are other properties in this in this uh, uh, plist file. So if you see that it has a bundle identifier which is unique for every application that you that you build and that is hosted on the App Store. Uh, if you have a company, it's best to put your company name here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put our company name here, um, Brand Web Direct. It just makes it easy for you know people to identify us uh, and who's made the app again you know we'll come back to this later we, I don't want to confuse you but for now what you need to know is the icon file um, the name should exactly be as the name of the file which is this one yep so if we go back again I'll put the name exactly like that what we do is we click on file and click on save and once we've done that we would do the build and run um, sorry it was uh, running already so Oops, we close this, change the simulator to iPhone, and we say build and run. Alright, now if you see, the app is the same because we didn't do anything on the app, it's just the icon that changed. So if you look, the icon has changed to YouTube app 2. Now this one appears because uh, you, we've not reset the uh, simulator, so what we'll do is we would say reset contents and settings, reset everything is reset now what we're gonna do is uh, click on build and run again and you would see the old one disappears so if you click on the home button you would see the icon appears here now say for example you wanted the red one to change to a blue or a white what we would do is we'd uh, we would go back and follow the same procedures we will select the white one bring it on the resources folder again we would say copy and it comes as the white so what we will do is we will just change the red to the white um, 
okay which is the name of my white icon and now we would say build and run first we would have to um, stop the uh, stop the uh, you know task which is on which is you know quit the simulator and then we go back to Xcode again and say build and run oh, yeah I forgot to save so we must save otherwise it won't appear we will look it on the iPad this time and click on home button you would see the red has changed to white yeah it's pretty simple pretty cool um, if you also see that the rounded corners have come up let me quit this one and open the iPhone uh, simulator I say build and run if you notice you know it is glossy automatically and it has got the round edges uh, on its own whereas I didn't do that so like I was saying Xcode puts the round edges and the glossy effect on its own um, the other thing that I was telling you is if the name of the app is too big it would appear like dot dot so next project that we would do we would ensure that we use um, a more logical name and a more appropriate name so that users don't have to see the dots all right uh, I would suggest you practice this um, it's very simple if you want um, you know a PNG file if you can't design a PNG file and want a PNG file um, what you can do is either download it from the internet I'm sure there are plenty available on the internet otherwise if you just uh, write a comment I'm I don't mind sending you one of my PNG files um, yeah that's it for this lesson the next lesson we're gonna do something interesting um, and a slightly more advanced version. Um, yep, thanks for watching this video and please subscribe uh, if you like my videos. Thank you.